Hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, Earthlings, wherever you are. Um, I've been uh, over to Algeciras uh, today to get a Kentucky Fried Chicken, because we don't have Kentucky Fried Chicken in this town, and I don't think there's one in Gibraltar anymore. There used to be, and I haven't had Kentucky Fried Chicken in years, and I just really fancied it. And it was a bit of a last-minute decision as well. I've been um, watching this YouTube video with Lady Anne Glen Connor on it and I think she's spectacular I love her um, but I was quite shocked she was being interviewed at one of the universities Cambridge or Oxford I think it was Cambridge uh, with some sort of audience and I've seen other people interviewed on those type of uh, things where they've got all the students in the room and some interviewer I've no idea who he is but I've got to say it was really a shame because the guy who was interviewing her, I felt that he couldn't have been less interested and the audience alike, as if, I can't understand that. If I ever had the honour of meeting somebody like her, and I mean, at the time it was filmed, I think she was 90, <laughs> I should be so lucky if I make it that far. I always feel honoured to hear anybody's story, especially people who are older than me, of what their childhood was like in their era. Now this lady was at the coronation and was one of the few people who actually saw the Queen being anointed and the response to this audience at Cambridge or Oxford, I'm not even going to do them the honour of looking it up, or the bloke's name quite frankly, he virtually sat there like this, oh yes, oh yes the coronation, you know, and I just thought wow bloody rude. Um, but if ever I got the chance to listen to anybody's stories, I mean, I read all of your guys' comments and a lot of you, I get the impression you are older than me. And I think it, I feel really honoured that you allow me to hang out with you because when I was a kid, I always wanted to hang out with the, you know, the older kids and they were like, shoo, leave me alone. And the life experience and the stories and the lady was actually there at the coronation. She was one of the ladies in waiting. She saw the Queen anointed. Uh, I don't understand these young people, especially at a university where they're supposed to be full of intellect and curiosity about history and life, the universe and everything. Uh, well, they look bored shitless. Now, you have to go to school, well, my day, you had to go to school from when you were 15, uh, five years old uh, until you were 15, 16 years old. It was compulsory. To me, it was like being sent to prison because the teachers were so, you know, the education system was just crap. And I didn't do very well at school. But then if you become an adult and you want to go to university, you'd think there'd be an ounce of curiosity. I mean, no one's holding a gun to anybody's head to go to Oxford or Cambridge. I just can't, I don't know where they got this audience from. If you look it up, in fact, I'll put a link in the description here. Uh, and I'm sure you, it, you search her, it's the top one that comes up. She's lived a fascinating life. And I just felt that the audience and the guy interviewing was being rather dismissive shall we say um and another video that i've got coming up we've just been to um Cordea, which is um a phoenician fort just down the road here uh but you've got to book an appointment to go in and um have a guide show you around i'm going to do a whole youtube video on that it's like an ancient roman well it's phoenician <laughs> it's not roman but it's it's spectacular uh, and it's literally on our doorstep at the foot of the refinery um, I mean, I'm dead curious now I'm, now I'm an adult. What is it with a lot of these younger, I don't know, am I being gen am I generalising? But I'm seeing and hearing an awful lot of younger people who are just, once you're over 30, or oh, 40, which Megan is, of course, uh, you're just boring, dismissed, whereas I'm fascinated by, and my mum used to tell me all kinds of stories about what it was like to grow up during the war. My grandmother told me all kinds, my grandmother was born in 1904, I just loved hearing stories about when she was younger to p partly find out that not much changes from generation to generation, but also the mod cons and what life was like. Um, go have a watch this Lady Glen Connor uh, thing and you'll soon see. I mean, when they open it up to the audience to ask questions, they're all sitting there like all highly disapproving, all, almost like, you know, yeah, down with the monarchy sort of thing, or don't like Aristos, or I don't know, or maybe they're just so brainless they didn't have any questions they could ask one of the most interesting people. Well, the most per interesting person in that room, I'm sure of that. It's incredible. And even though I didn't do very well at, at school on history, what's happening to history that people are so disinterested in it 
and then they learn it all back to front and upside down and they don't even try and find out what actually happened or what life was like for older people. Is it just me or how does it feel? Well, I'm 52. How does it feel when you're 62, 72, 82? Anybody out there is not in their 90s? Um, how does it feel when you're younger? Do you feel that um, older people are being more and more dismissed or am I just reaching that age where I'm starting to look at things from a different point of view. I just thought they were incredibly rude with such a wonderful lady. Um, thoughts, opinions? As always, thank good you. Good evening, good afternoon, Earthlings on planet Earth, wherever you may be. Right, we've come somewhere very interesting. Well, I think so, and I don't know if you will be able to see much because there is actually a fence. You have to pay to get in here and you have to have a guide to come with you because they worry about, obviously, this is heritage. This Sorry, is car. Those. You're joking! A whole Fuck off! Them. That's really illegal, and I'm going to put this on YouTube. Come back out. <laughs> this is this is not incriminating at all, and it is actually a rabbit hole. Come back! No, don't go in. No, she needs to help. Oh my goodness! Why'd you do it? You better hurry up before a police car comes along. You do get them coming down. Oh my here. god! I know if this I road quite well. Quick, there's a car coming. Okay. Well, there isn't. There is. I can hear one. On, Listen. We're right underneath the refinery here. This is Cartea. And this, up there, if you can see, that is an ancient Phoenician fort. And one day I want to go in there because uh, this is literally right underneath the refinery. This would have been the centre of the city. Um... Where we are now, which is sort of uh, Algeciras, um, Palmonis, was th a big, big port for the Phoenicians and still is today. Algeciras is one of the busiest, if not the busiest, port in the whole of Europe. So we would just happen to be passing. I had this brilliant idea today. I haven't had a Kentucky Fried Chicken in 10 years. No, uh, before five, ye years. five years, five years. And the only one is at Algeciras. So I said, come on kids, let's go. And we went and it cost 70 euros. 62. I think you'll find it was 67, 80 something. 62, and uh, it wasn't very nice actually, but I got it out of my system. So yes. Oh, look, they've got a um, security thing here. Oh, here we go. We can, uh, it's open at 10, 11, 12 and one. Oh, there's an email address. Oh, I'll take a picture of that and then what you do is you, you make an appointment and the Spanish guide come and there's a whole Phoenician city in there. And I can do a whole video would about that. Would you be that. able to manage in Spanish or would you want me to come with you? I speak more Spanish than you do. Okay. Um, so I just thought I'd do this bit of filming. We're now going to go to the boat, aren't we? Yeah, we'll and the trim. to show you what's been going on this week with... You're not allowed to show it till we're done. The boat. No, I won't. I won't show it until you're done.